What if I told you that 80% of people over 50 are deficient in one critical mineral that controls everything from your energy levels to how fast you age? And here's the kicker, your doctor probably hasn't even tested you for it. This isn't some obscure nutrient buried in medical journals. This is magnesium, and the deficiency crisis happening right now is literally accelerating aging in millions of people who have no idea it's happening. If you're over 50 and wondering why you feel older than you should, there's one mineral deficiency that could be silently sabotaging your energy, your memory, and even aging your body from the inside out. Most doctors miss it completely, and by the time symptoms show up, you could already be years into serious health decline. Stay with me, because in the next 20 minutes, I'm going to walk you through the 10 levels of understanding this critical deficiency, and by the end, you'll have a complete 7-day plan to start reversing the damage. Level 1. Why this deficiency skyrockets after 50 Level 1 is understanding why this deficiency absolutely skyrockets after 50. Your stomach acid production naturally decreases as you age, sometimes by as much as 40%. This matters because stomach acid is crucial for absorbing this particular mineral. At the same time, your kidney function begins to decline, making it harder to retain what little you do absorb. Add to this the medications that many people start taking in their 50s, things like proton pump inhibitors for heartburn or diuretics for blood pressure, and you've created the perfect storm for deficiency. But here's where it gets really concerning. Your body has become incredibly efficient at hiding this deficiency. It will literally rob this mineral from your bones and organs to keep your blood levels looking normal on standard tests. So you could be walking around severely depleted while your doctor tells you everything looks fine based on basic blood work. Level 2. Early signs you're already low. Moving to level 2, let's talk about the early warning signs you're already running low. These aren't the dramatic symptoms that show up later. These are the subtle hints your body is giving you right now. Do you find yourself craving chocolate more than usual? That could be your body desperately seeking this mineral. Are you experiencing more muscle cramps, especially at night? That's another early sign. What about restless leg syndrome or that feeling like you can't get comfortable when you're trying to sleep? Here's one that surprises most people. If you're suddenly sensitive to loud noises or bright lights, that could indicate you're already depleted. Your nervous system requires adequate levels of this mineral to function properly, and when it's low, you become hypersensitive to stimuli. Another early sign is changes in your appetite or sudden food aversions. Your taste buds actually need this mineral to function correctly. Level 3. The shocking link to fatigue and memory loss. Level 3 reveals the shocking connection between this deficiency and the two symptoms that terrify people most about aging, fatigue and memory loss. This mineral is directly involved in over 300 enzymatic reactions in your body. When you're deficient, it's like trying to run a factory with half the machinery broken. Your cellular energy production plummets, which is why that afternoon crash becomes your daily reality. But the memory connection is even more alarming. This mineral is essential for proper neurotransmitter function. Without adequate levels, your brain literally can't communicate effectively with itself. You start experiencing what researchers call pseudo-dementia, symptoms that look exactly like early Alzheimer's, but are actually caused by nutritional deficiency. The tragedy is that this is completely reversible if caught early enough. Studies show that people with even mild deficiency perform significantly worse on memory tests, have slower processing speeds, and struggle with what we call executive function, things like planning, organizing, and making decisions. The good news? When levels are restored, cognitive function often improves dramatically within weeks. Level 4 – How it affects your bones and muscles Level 4 exposes how this deficiency is literally weakening your bones and muscles right now. Most people know calcium builds bones, but without adequate levels of this particular mineral, calcium can't do its job. In fact, calcium supplementation without this mineral can actually make bone problems worse by creating an imbalance. This mineral activates vitamin D, which is essential for calcium absorption. It also directly stimulates bone-building cells while suppressing cells that break down bone tissue. When you're deficient, you're in a constant state of bone loss, even if you're taking calcium supplements. This is why so many women develop osteoporosis despite following conventional advice about calcium intake. The muscle connection is equally important. This mineral is required for proper muscle contraction and relaxation. When you're low, your muscles can't function efficiently. You lose strength, develop persistent tension, and become more prone to injury. That stiffness you feel when you wake up in the morning? That could be a direct result of deficiency affecting your muscle recovery overnight. Level 5. Hidden Foods That Block Absorption 
Level 5 uncovers the hidden dietary saboteurs that are blocking your absorption, even when you think you're eating well. This is where most people get frustrated because they're doing everything right nutritionally, but still becoming more deficient. Refined sugar is one of the biggest culprits. It literally forces your body to use up stored reserves of this mineral just to process it. Caffeine is another major blocker, which is devastating news for coffee lovers. That morning cup of coffee could be preventing you from absorbing this crucial mineral from your breakfast. Alcohol has a similar effect, actually increasing excretion through the kidneys. If you're having a glass of wine with dinner, you might be undermining the nutritional value of your entire meal. Here's one that shocks people. Whole grains, which are supposed to be healthy, contain compounds called phytates that bind to this mineral and make it unavailable for absorption. The same goes for beans and legumes. I'm not saying these foods are bad, but if you're already deficient, eating them without proper preparation could make things worse. Level 6. The best food sources, not pills. Level 6 focuses on the best food sources, and I want to be clear about something. While supplements have their place, food sources are almost always superior for long-term health. The bioavailability is better, you get cofactors that help with absorption, and you avoid the potential problems that come with isolated nutrients. Dark leafy greens are your best friends here, but not all greens are created equal. Spinach is often recommended, but it's also high in oxalates which can interfere with absorption. Better choices include Swiss chard, kale, and collard greens. The key is eating them with a little fat to enhance absorption. A drizzle of olive oil or some avocado works perfectly. Nuts and seeds are another excellent source, particularly pumpkin seeds, almonds, and cashews. Level 7. When and how to supplement safely. Level 7 addresses supplementation because sometimes food alone isn't enough, especially if you're already significantly deficient. But supplementing safely requires understanding that not all forms are created equal. Many common forms are poorly absorbed and can actually cause digestive upset. The best absorbed forms are those bound to amino acids. These are called chelated forms. They're more expensive than basic oxide forms, but the absorption rate can be four times higher. Timing matters too. Taking it with meals can reduce absorption, but taking it on an empty stomach can cause nausea. The sweet spot is about an hour before meals or two hours after. Dosage is critical because too much can actually interfere with the absorption of other important minerals like calcium and iron. Most people do best starting with smaller amounts and gradually increasing based on how they feel. Working with a healthcare provider who understands nutritional medicine is ideal, especially if you have any underlying health conditions. Level 8. How it impacts your sleep and recovery. Level 8 reveals the profound impact this deficiency has on your sleep and recovery. This mineral acts as a natural relaxant for your nervous system. When you're deficient, your body literally can't shift into the parasympathetic state needed for deep, restorative sleep. You might fall asleep fine, but you wake up feeling unrefreshed because you never achieved truly deep sleep stages. During sleep, this mineral helps regulate melatonin production and supports the natural repair processes that happen while you rest. Without adequate levels, your recovery from exercise is impaired, your immune system can't regenerate properly, and even your skin ages faster because cellular repair is compromised. Level 9. The Mineral Hormone Connection Level 9 explores the crucial connection between this mineral and your hormones. This relationship is particularly important for women going through menopause, but it affects men too, as testosterone levels naturally decline with age. This mineral is required for the production of several key hormones and helps regulate the stress hormone cortisol. When you're deficient, your adrenal glands have to work overtime, leading to chronic stress response that accelerates aging. Your thyroid function can also be affected, leading to symptoms that look like hypothyroidism but are actually nutritional in origin. Level 10 – Your Full 7-Day Mineral Rebalancing Plan Level 10 is your complete 7-Day Mineral Rebalancing Plan. Start each morning with a green smoothie containing spinach or kale, half an avocado, and some soaked almonds. This provides both the mineral and the fats needed for absorption. For lunch, include a serving of wild-caught fish or organic tofu with steamed broccoli dressed with olive oil and lemon. Dinner should feature another serving of dark leafy greens. Try Swiss chard sautéed with garlic or a large salad with mixed greens, pumpkin seeds, and a tahini-based dressing. Before bed, consider a small piece of dark chocolate or a handful of soaked cashews. Throughout the week, eliminate or drastically reduce refined sugars, limit caffeine to one cup of coffee or tea daily consumed away from meals, and if you drink alcohol, limit it to no more than three servings for the entire week. Soak any nuts, seeds, or grains overnight before consuming them. 
Remember, aging doesn't have to mean accepting decline. When you give your body the nutrients it needs to function optimally, you can feel vibrant and energetic well beyond your 50s. If this surprised you, hit subscribe to Science Unlocked. We break down the science that actually changes your life.